Steve, from the touchline, that was an intriguing game of football. I think it was a really interesting, forgive my voice, um, I think it was a, a really interesting game. We knew that how good they are. We knew how they like to counter-attack. Darren is a, is a keep ball passing type manager. We have a different style in a different way. Um, we scored two really good goals, two really good finishes to earn the right to be 2-0 ahead at half-time. Second half, we we come out and we put nothing into practice that we spoke about, which was no giving a good side some oxygen early in the second half. But we can see the sloppy goal. We should stop the counter-attack at source. We don't. And then you're always going to get them time. And then well, it's a simple header at a far post for us to clear the second goal. And we don't do it. And, and then we're toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It ends up like a, I think Darren Ferguson said it in his pre-match that it would end up end-to-end. I think it ended up like a table tennis match. Then the only foul in the penalty box, the only foul, is 98 minutes. But where's Stevenage and you know Peterborough? Because I do think if it's at the at Peterborough end, I think he gives it. That's not questioning his integrity. I think they've got 1,500 fans behind the goal. I think he gives it because it looks to everybody in the stadium a stonewall penalty. But if somebody had said after this amount of games, We'd be near Porsche in the League One table. Even the people at Porsche would be saying no chance. So the players have done incredibly well. Um, we'll regroup and we'll get ready for the FA Cup on Saturday. And we'll also get the chance to give some players some football that are desperate need of football. 2 0 ahead at half time. The last thing you wanted was, uh, you know, to <laughs> give away goals like you did in the second half. But that's what happened. Yeah, that's what we give it. The first one is. For me, is a simple. You can simply stop that, and that you know Nathan Thompson knows what Ricky Jade Jones is all about. He's played with him for three years, yeah. and um, you know, and, and young Ricky is, is is a good player, super quick. When he gets the ball on the touchline, you have to take, you have to be a professional foul, don't you? But he doesn't, and they go and they got a bit of fortune with the cross and a ricochet that goes in. Second goal, just a simple mistake from us at the back post. Um, young Nick Freeman mistimed his header and they capitalise, but. I still think maybe after that we have enough good opportunities, 3v2, 4v3, to go and punish them. And I, and I don't understand why somebody would go into the box in the 90th minute of play when he's got three people to pick out in the middle of the goal. And he gets taken down and the referee does what most of them do against us and they give us nothing. You're just about at the midway stage of the season now and you've played all the top sides and you've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. These are the best. These are the best we played in terms of the way they play. And um, and I'm proud of that because I've managed the club. I'm more proud of it because I live in the city. And it's when I'm all finished in football, that's the ground I'll sit and watch that team. So um, I'm really proud of my players. I'm really proud that we've gone so many games and we're around these in the table. Because what I, what I know about my group, Darren doesn't know about his group yet. My group will fight to the death. We'll fight to the death like we did last year. And, um, and that's what our teams do. So we'll fight. But they are, for me, the best team in the league. And we've played Portsmouth, who are special. Oxford were different class. We went up to Bolton. We thought we were better on the right in Bolton, but they've proved they're a terrific side. But I think Porsche, no one would want to play Porsche. We've dealt with that, and we'll, we'll see them in March. You're in a good place, though. Oh, the boys are in a good place. Listen, that dressing room is it's devastated at the end that we don't win the game because we're 2-0 ahead, and it, it finishes level. But we're also disappointed with the decision in the last seconds of the game because I think all my players led it with saying at the other end, Porsche got the chance to win the game. We don't get that chance. Thanks, Steve.